All right, what's up? Welcome back. From what? I don't know. But I guess we're just back. We are out east at our house in Amagansett, which is in Long Island, otherwise known as the Hamptons. Kind of closing up for winter, but we're going to make some progress on the inside because winter is over, so our winter's beginning. So we decided we're going to paint our fireplace. This thing kind of stands out doesn't really blend in. Yes, it's a great color. I'm sure some of you will agree. Why are you painting it? Leave as it is. It looks natural. It looks cool. But as you can see, it goes all the way up. And just kind of a minimalist. And I think we've decided that it'll look better white. So we got some really cool paint from a company called Calc Leader, which is based out of Sweden or based out of Norway. I don't know, I know it came from somewhere in Scandinavia, but we're going to uh, mix it up. It came in these two little boxes right there. And uh, now we're gonna go to the hardware store, grab the supplies, get back here, probably time lapse this thing because it's gonna take a couple hours. But as you can see, you can walk right around it. We're about to take this wall out, renovate our kitchen, which is on the other side, coming soon. Stay tuned for that one. But yeah, this is the beginning. So get supplies. This might be the last time we see this thing like this, which I'm kind of excited about. Do we have everything? I think that's about it. Yeah? We ready to rock this? Do we need them? <laughs> sure. I'm trying to get my look on. Well, are we in business or what? TBD. TBD. Step at a time. Well, our supplies at least are bought. Now it's on you to figure out how to use them. Babe, I know how to use them. Yeah. I was a sculpture major. All right, I'll let you lead the way and I'll follow. Sure. <laughs> All right, I'm about to dive into this, get started. First things first, gotta vacuum out the whole area. We're gonna leave the back black, obviously, because it's just gonna burn, and then we're gonna paint the rest white. But I'm gonna vacuum it out and then tape off the whole area. So Hannah's just finishing taping off the area. Just gonna keep the inside black. Yeah, we got the tarp down. So now we're gonna mix the paint. Is increased when the foundation is too dry and with greater thickness. <laughs> <laughs> so what did you learn? Either our surface needs to be at the perfect dampness or we're gonna suffer from some cracks that we can then fix. It'll look aged. Yeah. We're doing brick, we're not doing I know, but it isn't brick highly absor absorbing? Yeah. Right, so it says like if it's too dry, which I would think our brick is dry. Because yeah, of its, it's really dry. Conditions. And it said to hum dehumidify, or right. humidify. Well, so. this is the paint. We've been mixing it for a solid 10 minutes here. And uh, I think we're pretty good to go. It looks very gray. Yeah, it goes on gray and then it dries to white. I watched some videos last night. Okay. I feel like I'm in the know. I mean, it's this is highly alkaline and mineral paint from where? Belgium. From Belgium, so. Red ship from Belgium, anyway. You know, I trust it. <laughs> you <process>. better. <laughs> so, one of the best parts about this home renovation stuff is sometimes you just wing it and figure it out as it goes, and I feel that's what we're about to do. So, hands, let's get our paint on. Let's do it. Less reading, more painting. Okay, I just want to see the techniques that. Oh, tell me about the techniques. They do say the processing of oh, tools apply with a brush. We're going to use a brush full time. Okay. Alright, let's get into this. Now 
finished one side. Kind of looks gray, but it'll dry white. And we're just about to mix another bucket here. And we've already done this side. One. Yeah, because the whole bottom, I think it's about the same amount. And uh, that side's done. Kind of leave it in not perfect just because we like the little age look, but the front is gonna be the money shot. Gonna leave that bad boy for another weekend. Man, that's gonna be a mission. But so far, so good. Pretty covered in paint to be honest. But all for the cause. Tools everywhere. You excited? <laughs> Alright, need both hands. Damage got a little wild in there, but this, my friends, is a massive upgrade. You can kind of see right now over here, it's just getting a little whiter as it dries. It's a little gray to start because this calc leader, or calc leader, I'm not sure how they say it, but is lime paint, so made from limestone. So the texture on it is incredible. I don't know if you can see this texture here, but it's uh. Yeah, it's pretty nice. So it really feels like like concrete and brick. And I am just thoroughly surprised by how good that looks. There was a large elephant in the room before and it was the red brick and now that thing is just looking modern and great. So again, we gotta do up there. But this is an amazing start and we're super happy gonna show you a little shot tomorrow when it's all set up and dry again how it looks and we're probably gonna have to repaint the inside black because the fire's been burning it away and now there's a little white debris in there but hands we did it hey it looks so good looks so good all right so day two it's dried off that's the final product it's looking pretty damn good can't wait to get a fire in there, but we're gonna let it dry for a couple more days, probably a week, just to make sure. But I highly recommend that paint. It looks amazing, it's got a great texture to it. Next thing to come is a full-blown kitchen renovation. Some of the cupboards don't even close. But that's gonna be a big update and that's gonna be very complimentary. So, coming soon, kitchen right now, fireplace. And as you know, still gotta do up there. But we'll get there. Thanks for watching. More home renovations to come.